everyone and welcome back. So I am back from Florida where I was last week, hence there was no upload. Um, but I had a good fun time. So I thought today, yes, it's React Monday, but we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's have a look at dangerous animals when they're just being cute. There are moments when even the most dangerous animals are so friendly, it's almost unbelievable. Like this Wait. alligator. Or Wait a minute. That wasn't... That wasn't a... a that wasn't a dangerous animal being friendly. That was being eaten. I think that's a legitimate time that spider could attack. What the hell was that? A wolf or lion. Oh, this is a big cat. Just look hey. at the way this giant ray is be playing with, with a boy who's feeding early. it fish. Turns out fishermen often butcher the fish at this port, so the sea creatures are used to being fed. That's just harsh. And these guys decided that regular training is too boring, so they decided to wrestle with a bear. Yeah, see, yeah. it depends because there's a lot of bears in certain places that are kind of kept in bad, in bad situations. They're kind of not allowed to really be bears, and they're torch. I don't know. I don't know the situation of this bear, but yeah. I don't know. We'll assume it's a well-treated bear that maybe they found as a cub and they just raised. Thankfully, you know. the animal didn't mind. But that bear could rip them both <laughs> up in half. This black Asian it's water Komodo. monitor lizard decided to cheer the human on as he was cleaning the terrarium. Clearly, the You're lizard knows a, that the person just is doing a, a favor. You are just a thing to climb on. This wolf eel couldn't leave the diver alone until it had That's enough an eel. attention. That looks... Look at the face on that thing, that's ancient. While most people would panic at the sight of a scorpion, this person nonchalantly holds mom's scorpion in his hand, along with several dozen. Oh, hell no. I am not touching that thing. Like, hey, human mothers, if you're, uh, uh, if, <laughs> if you're threatening their kids are going to go, uh, like, feral on you. Let alone animals. And if it's a scorpion or anything like that, animals are known for protecting their young. Screw that! Dozen of her offspring. This alligator is not only skilled at catching food, no. but also... I've only just come back from Florida. Yeah, and I was at a basketball game. And but this gator. crocodile so, named Pocho takes it to the nicer, next level but do not it's been with friends with this man for many years allowing him to swim on top of the animal hug it and that thing was going into a death roll going crocodiles and alligators both do the same thing that death roll is meaning they're trying to kill you even kiss it right in the jaws hell the fuck no no and this is an incredible encounter between a wild moose named Those Lovely and They're the only person she ever lets near her. They are massive. Steve Irwin's this son. This is a friendly python named Big Phil who wraps himself around a person not to crush him, but to cut. Okay. Now, in fairness, that is Steve Irwin's son. He knows exactly how to hold that thing. That's more very well trained and working with someone who is very, very knowledgeable on the animals. Has been around them since he was like a literal baby. If anyone used to watch Steve Irwin, he was there in those things. So, uh, yeah, this one is a bit of an outlier. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I sound like I'm being really harsh because I'm just like, actually, these animals aren't really being... Uh, there are going to be animals that, uh, you know, that, that recognize you, but... I think it's important to realise that a lot of the people dealing with it are also incredibly well trained. And Steve Irwin's son is definitely up there. I mean, he runs the conservation um, centre, I think, with his mother or maybe by himself now over in the uh, over in Australia. Huddle. No. <laughs> and this eagle must have forgotten that it's a menacing <laughs> predator. That's like a cat. Like... I've heard that orcas are not dangerous to humans, but I didn't realize they could be so friendly. Orca? Isn't that beluga whale? That wasn't an orca, that was a beluga Considering whale. that moray eels could fatally attack you, you would hardly call them friendly. And yet, here we are. That's like if you, if you scratch someone's head. That's just, that's what that is. 
And this dangerous lion is famous for its cuddles with the tourists. If I am a tourist, I am shitting myself if that turns up. This hell <laughs> is... I'm sorry. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> that, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it! <laughs> that is brilliant. That is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Look how happy it looks. <laughs> that is, that's like when somebody scratches your hair or if a cat when you get it behind the ear. Look at how happy that is. Oh, that's brilliant. Smiling during its spa <laughs> treatment. Admit it, you've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> If I was given a pool of cold water on a hot day, I'd also be this friendly. So a lot of these are just very well trained or they're in captivity. This gentle tarantula helped a man with his Billy Eilish impression. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I'm sorry. That fucking spider should have ate him. Look at the way this Canadian wolf is greeting a stranger. Canadian wolves are considered the largest breed in the world. It's also in a cage, which means it's been very much domesticated. This polar bear came to a research station Fuck and that. almost let people pet it. Most importantly, without any consequences. Polar bears are the apex predator if it comes to us. And this that shark voluntarily out, came up to a diver for a little stroke. Oh, that's not a dangerous one. Whoa. And now you see the most dangerous birds in the world. A cassowary can knock out a person with just one kick. Disembowel them as well. Luckily, it was in a good mood. <laughs> this guy dove into a pool full of crocodiles, as if they were kittens and not deadly reptiles. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you doing? Some people travel with their cats and dogs, and this woman travels with a Himalayan brown bear. <laughs> and the animal even knows how to fasten the seatbelt. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Safety first. Safety first. I know that feeling, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, that was cute. Pumba, is that you? Means no one. Oh, that is the bit. That, that's a kind of have kitten. A that's a cub But dude. you have a lioness. That's just, that's also been, I think I've seen that guy on TikTok. That's been reared since it was like a, a, a proper little cub. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's used to it. It's just a big cat. It's just a big cat. And this six foot eel is so happy to see this diver that it hugged the man by wrapping itself around him. This is what mutual affection looks like. No. That's what tasting the food before you eat Just it. Just a looks normal like. day in Russia. Fed the bear. Now it's time to go to work. Yeah, see, I worry about these. Okay. A giant praying mantis took a respite on a person's hand. And listen to the way it says hello. I really love to have her back scratched at night. And this snake puts its owner to bed every night. I am not sleeping next to a fucking snake that big. A wild rhino walked through a populated village, but it was so friendly that it allowed everyone to stroke it. I mean, on top of that, they, I'm guessing they're probably, they're in the middle, there's rhinos coming through, there are a lot. The locals probably know not to fuck with it. Because it's like bulls, it's like anything. If you make fast movements, if you do anything like that, they're going to respond to it because it looks threatening. So I, that was also down to people just knowing, hey, let's chill out. There's a fucking rhino here. Is that your pet, Josh? Meanwhile, this shark is taking its human for a walk. Oh, not letting stingray Who near me again. Stingrays can be very friendly towards people. Fucking kill Steve Irwin. Okay, Steve Irwin should have taken the barb out. But Unless no. this guy is a mermaid, I have no idea how he managed to tame a salamander like this. Okay, that's cool. Just look at the way this lion greets the person who that's raised the one it from before. and continues that's the one I said to care before. for it. Same guy, look. Yeah, he read it from like a cub. That's in a reserve. Are you sure this is a lizard? Looks more like a playful puppy. 
<laughs> the fucking size of that thing! A friendly crocodile gave a capybara a ride on its back. Now we know that animals have their own form of surfing. Yeah, did that capybara get off though? And here, Kiara the lioness is greeting her best friend, who practically replaced her parents. <laughs> See, big cats can be friendly. Cats are good. Cats are nice. This uh, man raised a bear since it was a cub, and this is the result. So there you go. That that that's the kind of okay. It's a bear been raised since it's a um, since it's a cub, probably abandoned by its um, parents, or the parents were killed. And this is okay. I mean, because obviously, if it went back into the wild, it probably wouldn't be vicious enough to actually look after itself. Um, but th this is more kind of okay. That's that's all right. But still, look at the size of that bear compared to that guy. But it's not a small guy, and the bear. Oh my god. Uh, even if, even if it's well trained, even if it's like placid as hell. Oh, n no. Just no. This shark came up so Whoa. close to the divers, it could have easily swallowed them. But thankfully, it was friendlier than expected. It's also in an aquarium, so. This hippo started to climb over hippo the wall surrounding its enclosure and could have caused some damage to the visitors of the Delhi Zoo. Hitting the fucking the thing's not a good idea, started surely. pushing the animal back in, and even though the hippo could have attacked him, it went back into the water instead. They're very dangerous. Oh, incredibly dangerous hippo. In the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve lives the friendliest royal white Bengal tiger that quite likes okay, to so swim with people. It's not like a zoo or anything, it's to look after them. Okay. okay this lioness came right up to a wildlife oh, photographer, oh, 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 sniffed him, and went on its way. <laughs> Imagine his emotions at the time. He shot himself so the damn thing didn't come near. <laughs> He's like, that. The chairman of the Aspinall Foundation, Damien Aspinall, brought his wife, Victoria, to introduce her to wild gorillas. He never imagined that he would be jealous. <laughs> Love it. And this is a show at a okay, wildlife that is a preserve big, in Arizona when the staff allow the tigers to hump themselves as if they were real prey. And yet, the 400-pound, 11-foot predators control their instincts, That's knowing this is all just pretty pretend. Pretty impressive, to be fair. That's... Okay, so some interesting ones there. I, again, some of them, I, I think, like, with the bears at the beginning, I don't know about the, the situation, and some of them are just well, very well trained. But that is fun. It's nice to see, like, such dangerous animals. They... They're not all out to just kill you. Especially sharks. It's a big thing with sharks. Sharks are not just there to keep killing people. They're actually less likely to kill you than cows are. Like, literally, worldwide, more people are killed by cows than are by sharks. It's So, I think it's good to, to show the kind of, hey, we're not just killing machines. Like, leave us the fuck alone and we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, slightly different um, reacts today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you again next time.